Hey, Orc Hunters, welcome back to your Ukraine war news summary for day 462. So, from the Russian Ministry of Defense, reports have come in that it has destroyed Ukraine's, quote, last warship two days ago in the port of Odessa in a missile strike. Here is a photo of the ship in which Russian uh, Ministry of Defense says it was hit with high-precision weapons. The Ukrainian Navy at this time would not respond to any reports or comments. They are not reporting on any of the losses being incurred during the war at this time. Also important to note here, Ukrainian officials said Monday that Russia put out five aircraft out of action in an attack on a military target in western Ukraine, and it caused a fire at the Black Sea port of Odessa. So there was conflict going on between Russian aircraft and Ukrainian naval forces. Other news today, a Russian S-400 air defense system was destroyed in the Kherson Oblast, as claimed, using HIMARS multiple launch rocket systems. Now, while Ukrainian forces may not have officially started their offensive in terms of liberating territory, gaining ground back, raising the Ukrainian flag in villages, I mean, we've seen what liberation truly looks like. Uh, Ukraine has been hitting strategic locations, strategic targets through means of ammunition, fuel, resources of the Russian military and their proxies within occupied border regions for the last month and a half. They've hit Mariupol, they've hit Zaporizhia, they've now hit Kherson, they've hit Luhansk, not to mention the incursions into the Russian border. So whatever phase we're in now, it's definitely actionable enough to say, hey, Ukraine's doing some things here. Russia troop losses as of May 31st, sitting at 207,910, another 470 troops over the last 24 to 48 hours. Looking at a quick map breakdown of the situation in Bakhmut, Ukrainian forces still remain in positions. There have been very, very minimal changes to the front line. As we've been reporting on the situation, Ukrainian forces still remain in the rear city of Shasivyar. The Russian forces and their proxies still remain in Bakhmut, and the Ukrainian forces still remain on the flanks to the north and to the south of Bakhmut. This is good news, meaning the Ukrainian forces are still in their positions along the flanks. The Russians have done nothing to push them back from those positions. So, a photo that you've all been waiting for. More Ukrainian M2 Bradleys as more Western weapon systems are arriving and being integrated into Ukrainian military units ahead of the upcoming counteroffensive. And your combat video of the day is coming from the 3rd Assault Brigade at Russian positions as they flee from Ukrainian tanks and infantry fighting vehicles. <laughs> And finally, the much-anticipated NAFO 69th Sniffing Brigade campaign has begun. The link will be in the description of this video and also in the comment section for the fundraiser for the Frontline Defenders. We're going to be uh, fundraising for Frontline vehicles like this truck here, for example, for the Defenders. We're going to have a Mercado Media on it, likely a flag on there, any messages through this campaign. You really need to check out this link in the description. Here's the video appeal for the campaign we're going to be fundraising for, for the 5th Slobozhan Brigade. Thank you so much for tuning in to another summary video. If you enjoy videos like these, please leave a comment below. Like the video, consider subscribing to the channel for further. We're live every night at 8.15 p.m. Eastern Time right here on Mercado Media going through a live stream of the latest news and events within the Ukraine war. I'm Anna Mercado. I'll see you guys on the next one.